Hey everyone, I'm Angelo. Been homeless for almost 11 months now. I'm a filmmaker in Los Angeles. Uh, been watching the news about President Trump facing impeachment hearings. So I want to talk about why he isn't facing impeachment hearings. The reasons that are not being brought forward for impeachment hearings. Um, he's not facing them over calling for a ban on all Muslims to even travel to America, let alone immigrate. Just be able to travel here. Very early into his presidency, he tried to enact a ban on all Muslims traveling here, which included, I think, seven Muslim-majority nations, so about 200 million Muslims. So it ended up being about a 200 million Muslim ban. Immigration is still very difficult here. Even people trying to get visas to travel here are facing more difficulty because of uh, Trump's uh, agenda, along with uh, Stephen Miller. Um, he's not facing immigrate, uh, impeachment proceedings for the Gestapo raids conducted by ICE, terrorizing communities, uh, many of which are Latino and Hispanic. Uh, he's not facing it for inspiring white supremacist terrorism, uh, both by supporting and spreading white supremacist ideas, voicing support for them, and by downplaying such terrorism after it occurs, just saying good luck to the cities that are facing it, good luck to the families, uh, you know, our best wishes, thank, thank goodness for our first responders. That's the most he, you can get out of him. Uh, he's not facing it for credible sexual assault allegations from about 20 women, including an allegation of rape, by the way. Uh, nepotism with his kids in the White House. Um, he's not facing it for having them uh, getting security clearances and being involved with his administration, even though it's not clear why at all they should be. He's not facing it for running his businesses while in office and making money off those, uh, potentially affecting his agenda with um, the people of other governments and lobbyists uh, using his hotels and his businesses when, again, like they don't have any reason to. He's not facing it for war crimes for conducting wars in seven countries, killing civilians at a rate, even outpacing Obama. And Obama was doing it at a high rate. Uh, that includes, um, just a few days ago, bombing and killing about 30 civilians, over 30 civilians in Afghanistan. Uh, that includes bombing a wedding recently. He's not facing it for continuing the drug war, which involves mass incarceration. Uh, disproportionately high, it's used as an excuse to over-police uh, black and brown people, immigrants. Um, he's not facing it for his support of the death penalty, for refusing to stop the death penalty, for refusing to stop solitary confinement, torturous prison and jail conditions, the legal bribery that goes on with billions of dollars being exchanged by private uh, prison corporations who run uh, horrible facilities and get kickbacks, but again, it's legal bribery for every inmate that they have in there. He's not facing impeachment for threatening war with Venezuela or Iran, essentially about oil and racism, um, and for pulling out of the Iran nuclear deal, potentially threatening all life on Earth by trying to escalate uh, tensions with Iran. Uh, thank goodness he just has the attention span of like a bird. It's just whatever's in front of him, he, he like, he, he'll go for. So if he thinks, uh, you know, he wants one policy, he'll kind of back off in a way if he just feels like, oh, it's uh, not my mood today to go for it. But he's still, overall, his agenda is racism. Not being impeached for that. Uh, not facing impeachment for torturing immigrants, mass deportations without trial, uh, white supremacist lies about these immigrants, and denying asylum claims to people. He's not facing it for conducting the drug war in Central and South American countries to help devastate them, which further drives uh, their gang problems and uh, exacerbates their poverty, joblessness, which gets people to want to immigrate to America and find asylum here. And by the way, many of these things are things Obama had prosecuted, uh, not prosecuted as in, like, as in tried to bring to trial, as in they carried them out. Bush, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, talking about Reagan and Bush, refusing to prosecute Elliot Abrams, uh, war criminal responsible for tens of thousands of deaths in El Salvador, selling arms to and guiding Saudi Arabian genocide against Yemen, Trump, 
Not facing impeachment for that. Not facing for support of Israel, uh, Israeli atrocities against Palestinians and for giving billions of aid to Israel, notwithstanding all that. And Netanyahu just trying to swing the election for himself lately. We're, Democrats aren't trying to impeach him for that. They're not impeaching him for blocking and or rolling back rights for transgender people, gay people, women, abortion rights. Democrats aren't trying to impeach him about that. Uh, not for enriching his millionaire and billionaire friends and lobbyists and executives while 40 million people in America are on food stamps, uh, while millions more have little to no savings, are bankrupted by medical debt, and landlords and rich people can make more money by raising rents, criminalizing poverty, and paying starvation wages while they get big tax cuts. He's not facing impeachment for that. Accelerating climate change to enrich his theocratic and rich friends by trying to build more oil pipelines, by rolling back environmental protections, by trying to uh, uh, roll back like uh, emission standards, not facing um, impeachment for essentially trying to end all life on the planet with uh, apocalyptic climate change. And by the way, this is gonna, which is already creating climate refugees, not worried about that. Democrats aren't. Threatening to put homeless people into internment camps recently. He just had a visit of Los Angeles, not facing impeachment for that. Installing billionaire theocrat Betsy DeVos as Secretary of Education, rolling back protections against predatory loans, sexual assault, LGBTQ students, sick and disabled students. He's not facing impeachment for that. Betsy DeVos, by the way, in the uh, Eric Prince family, Prince who is a war criminal uh, from his mercenary work with uh, both this administration and previous administrations. Uh, cutting funding for public housing and food stamps while so many people are in poverty and while his rich friends are getting massive tax cuts. Not facing impeachment for that. Trump's not facing impeachment for his refusal to get clean water for families in Flint, Michigan or elsewhere. For his trade wars, which are uh, making uh, life difficult for farmers here. For lying about simplifying taxes so we could pay them on a form the size of a postcard. He just lied about that. The president is not facing impeachment for that. Straight up lied. Just to enrich his friends and himself. How much power and money could one person need? And he's still desperately insecure. Uh, he's not facing it for refusing to invest investigate white supremacy in law enforcement, military, FBI, ICE, which is redundant, all these. Uh, especially ICE, that's like explicitly their mission is white supremacy. He's try, he's, he and his administration are taking away funding and focus that was going to, and that could be used even further to uh, warn and prevent and investigate white supremacy in law enforcement, which, I mean, it's kind of, you know, one and the same, but the explicit white supremacist elements, the ones that are naked about it, that just show up, not interested in, in stopping that, and apparently Democrats don't want to impeach him for that. Uh, his support for the criminal, torturer, and white supremacist Joe Arpaio, giving him a presidential pardon, not facing impeachment for that. Uh, support for the bigot and authoritarian who's engaged in mass atrocities across Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, We're not impeaching him for that. Support for Saudi Arabia's brutal theocratic regime, which involves torturing and killing their citizens, repressing gay people, LGBTQ people, women, Poor people, I'm not interested in that. Enriching military contractors like Boeing, Raytheon, Lockheed Martin while underfunding VA medical care. Well, supposedly, this country supports his veterans. Not really. We're not impeaching him for that. He's not facing impeachment for inciting harassment against colluding to keep quiet civil rights activist Colin Kaepernick and trying to get his friends at the NFL to basically intimidate and silence uh, any civil rights and Black Lives Matter protesters, people who want to protest against br police brutality, use their platform for good. He's not being impeached for that. Imagine if Obama said that. They already say he was authoritarian. And Obama could have been impeached for a lot of these things too. Done a lot of the same things. Trump's just kind of magnifying a lot of them. He's not being impeached for wasting money on a border wall with Mexico to inflict mass cruelty 
against primarily Hispanic and Latino immigrants and incite white supremacist violence and terror against them. He's not being impeached for that, or none of these things. Democrats aren't bringing impeachment for any of these. What it took for Democrats to bring articles of impeachment to Trump, which they're looking into now, is that he went after Joe Biden. They're basically front runner for president. Um, funnily enough, basically a Republican himself. Ben Shapiro frequently de defends him, saying actually the 1994 crime bill, you do the math, it was actually good to lock up a bunch of black people. You don't want a bunch of black people, I mean uh, criminals out on the streets. Republicans consistently defend him and then say, look, the left eats their own. Well, Joe Biden's been a horrible person. And then they try and play it both ways. They say, where were they complaining about Obama's deportation record and uh, Joe Biden uh, in his administration? Uh, there were lots of people doing that, especially uh, people of color and journalists who were people of color. So apparently to conservatives, those don't count. If you're a person of color, you're a journalist, uh, your, rec your testimony doesn't count. And that way they get to claim both that leftists are hypocrites and that leftists are just eating their own, that they're so tribalistic. It, and by claiming, by the way, that they're colorblind, these conservatives, what they're saying is if they don't see color, they don't see atrocities committed against people of color for who they are. So that way it's easy to pardon themselves of criticizing those things and fighting them. So Democrats are cowards. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, basically Republican. Jerry Nadler, basically Republican. I mean, I, what, what's inspiring and exciting about how they're fighting? Oh, we strongly reprimand Trump for asking the Ukrainian president, which um, by everything I understand is illegal. True enough. Uh, Trump's an egomaniac and a bully and a narcissist and desperate and he's scared of losing the election. And he was... Uh, pretty blatantly, openly, clearly trying to get the Ukrainian president to investigate uh, Joe Biden and his, uh, his deceased son and get um, negative stories, negative information on them, which, hey, there's plenty of negative information about them. Uh, I'm sure they were doing something dirty and nasty. Um, it's at least Joe Biden. Uh, I don't know uh, about his... Uh, his passed away son, but um, Joe Biden, uh, yeah, I can absolutely believe he's done a lot of dirty, horrible things. But it took him asking the Ukrainian president for uh, dirt on Joe Biden for Democrats to all of a sudden vaguely act like they have a jellyfish of a spine. In other words, it's okay when Saudi Arabia, when Israel, when Qatar, when other dictatorships uh, try and influence our elections, when we have presidents who have their fingers in the pockets of all kinds of or atrocities and companies that make money off these atrocities and then teach people like you and me to revere them while hating other poor people and say, oh, the poor people, they're the ones who are the enemies of the nation. They're the ones who are dragging productivity down. Immigrants are the ones who are destroying this country. One day, I'm going to be rich like that person. Thank goodness for me, even back when I was conservative, being around enough well-off and rich people made me realize they'll never really accept me as one of them, and I'll never quite be one of them. It's not that they won't accept me, really. It's just that I am not, like, like I am clearly uh, not in their class. And therefore, like, they will not treat me with the same respect they will other people. And that started dis giving me some disillusions to the, this white supremacist idea that's baked into the country of the people who have a lot of money and have a lot of possessions, they're better than other people. They're more productive. Uh, they're just uh, like better, they earned it. They're more meritorious than others. We have this sick idea of punishing people who have already been screwed over so much in life and revering those who have inflicted the punishment on others. So that's what it took for Democrats to act against Trump is him tarnishing the prestige of their front-runner candidate who's just a garbage candidate. <laughs> you look at the way he keeps grabbing women. Oh my goodness. The way he was uh, ranting 
Uh, he frequently rants and tells uh, six stories that kind of show how he thinks of, he's still got that segregationist mindset, this country still does, of black people are inherently unable of parenting their kids and poor and uh, need his help and need to, what the fuck? Like, he was talking about the kids got to have their TV on at night when he was asked about uh, reparations for slavery. And then he said, they, and then he said, pardon me, they should have the record player on at night. By the time he said that, I forgot what the question was. So that was a great job deflecting from the question about reparations. Um, other than it showed his naked racism, which is, oh, black people need to be brought to heel, like to train. It is sick to be trained to be parents. What the fuck? So Democrats aren't really an opposition party. Uh, if they're not Republicans, they're cowards. And for some reason, they keep wanting to advance a cruel, racist, white supremacist Republican agenda.